Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser today, talking about what programs you need to become a graphic designer. I'm gonna jump into that in just a moment, but before we do, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, I highly recommend doing so. Put out videos helping you within the graphic design industry. Also, if you're curious about the best gear for graphic designers, you can check that out in the YouTube cards above or the description below. All right, so what programs do you need? That's the question. Well, the basics are Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. So now, what do you do with each of those programs? Well, Photoshop is where you're gonna do all of your photo editing. You're gonna make changes, you're gonna mask out images, you're gonna make it to where you know you have those really nice magazine covers with the cropped out person and all the text next to them, or you put a person over some text or behind some text. So you can really manipulate photos, you can do some airbrushing, you can do some Photoshop work. There's all kinds of things you can do within that program. Another program that is very important is Adobe Illustrator. This is where you're gonna be creating logos. This is where you're gonna be creating little vector icons. So you think about a brand logo like Volvo, Coke, Pepsi, that's where you create those graphic assets is in Illustrator. Now all of your photos and your graphics will then be translated into Adobe InDesign. And this is basically your production tools. This is where you take all of your resources and funnel them down. You're gonna add text, you're gonna lay out pages, you're gonna create business cards, brochures, flyers, advertisements, whatever it may be, that is what happens within InDesign. So those are the proper ways to use each tool effectively. But why do we do it that way? That's a question. Photoshop is a raster based program. So what does that mean? It means it takes little squares, like when you take a photograph to build out the image that you see. So what happens is when you blow something up really large or when you take it down really small, you'll start to see those blocks of pixel. This is a problem when you're trying to make a logo in Photoshop and you make it really, really big. And also you notice it's really fuzzy and low quality. Why is that? That's because it is a pixel based program. Next, we wanna talk about Illustrator. So why do we use Illustrator for logo design? Well, Illustrator is a vector-based program. When you look at a close-up shot of a piece in Illustrator, you see that it has very smooth lines around the outside. That's because it is vector-based. You can scale it as large as you want or as small as you want, and the quality will stay the same. Now, finally, the reason we use InDesign is because of the parameters and the guidelines that it has. You can set up grids, you can set up standards, you can set up repeating tasks, and pages, and this just streamlines your process and makes you a more efficient graphic designer. So those are the programs you need to become a graphic designer. If you have any other questions, you can grab a link in the description below and submit a question through the question form, and I'll be sure to answer that on the channel. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I appreciate you tuning into this video, and I'll see you here on the next episode.